Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new Photoshop video. Alright, today is not about retouching, but today is about changing the color of the model's outfit. So let's say you did a shoot with a model and you want to change the outfit to another color, to a different color. It's very easy in Photoshop, alright? So the first thing we're going to do is to go down to the adjustment layer right here. And we're going to select the option that says U Saturation. Good. After you've done that, the next step is to click on this little icon here. It's the Modify U option. And we're going to click the model's um, outfit. We're going to choose a section that has just one color. Maybe just right here. And then we're going to play with the um, adjustment um, option right here. We're going to bring it down, the U. We're going to bring it down until we see the outfit turns pink. That looks good. All right. We have these um, options here as well. You can fine tune it by, you know, going up and down a little bit to see what it does. I'm going to put it like right. I want it to look realistic, so I'm just going to play with it and I'll put a little. I'm going to warm it up a little bit. So, right, right there. And then this one doesn't do anything. Let me see what this one does. Nothing. Okay. Oh, this one. Oh, this one in the middle. I think this one deals with the shadows or something like that. I'm not sure, but all right, that looks good to me. Let's look at the before and after. Before, after. All right, so you must be wondering what am I going to do with the face of the model, the background, the hair, everything. That's super easy to fix. Because this is a adjustment layer, it has a mask on it. So this is the mask layer basically. So what we're going to do, we're going to paint on the sections that we do not want to have pink. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to come over here to the uh, foreground and we're going to change this to black because black and white will um, reveal, well, not reveal, but it will um, get rid of the colors that you do not want to see. All right. So the shortcut for the um, um, foreground is X. So you can go back and forth by pressing X. All right. So I'm going to get my brush, press B on the keyboard for the brush. Then I'm going to use the brackets on the keyboard to get it bigger. And just I'm just going to paint the sections where I do not want to have pink. All right. I'm using, um, I'm not using a mouse, but you can definitely use your mouse. I'm using a tablet. Um, it's called X Pen. It's one of those Chinese brands. And it works really, really good. I paid about 80 something dollars for it. Within an hour, I actually mastered um, this tablet. All right, good. So I got rid of most of the sections that I do not want to have um, in pink. But to fine tune it, it's best that you um, zoom into the model's uh, face or the model. But zoom into the image itself. Right. So I'm going to get my brush a little bit smaller by using a bracket on the keyboard. And I'm going to paint on her lips her face, her fingers, and I'm just going to take my time to do it because if you rush, it will not look realistic. I'm going to get it small as possible. I'm going to work on the finger. I do not want to talk while I'm <laughs> working so close to the models, um, to the, um, the finger where if I go over like this, it's going to mess up everything. So I just control Z to fix it. Or even if it's, if it's, if, if I did this, what I could do is to press um, X on the keyboard and just paint it back in and then press X again to start working on the other sections of the finger. All right. So I'm going to do this very quickly. I'm taking my time. All right, so I'm holding I'm holding on shift on the keyboard and then I'm dragging click and drag oh X And then I'm gonna watch oh, what just happened. Let me get back to my B for the brush X for good. I'm just gonna go to do the fingers right now. Oh One of my youtubers actually asked for this video actually requested this video so yeah i want to do um, most of the videos most of the requests that you know you guys are asking me to do because i want you guys to learn how to use photoshop and you know 
how to use the tools and stuff like that um yeah so i'm just doing this here it's already five minutes in the video and as i said guys you have to take your time you cannot rush it i would love to rush this right now but it would not look perfect let me zoom this in a little bit more but i could rush it um so you could get the idea because you already get the idea of what you should be doing um x x again let's do this a little bit oh x get it a little bit smaller so i can go in closer zoom it up all right it's much easier working with the pen because i can you know go in very close and i mean if you're good with the mouse you will you know be able to do it just as good as am i as i am doing it with the pen but um to be honest with you if when you get a tablet you're gonna see how fast you can actually work using the tablet another thing you could actually which i think would be faster is if you actually use the um the what's that the pen tool and make a selection around the sections that you do not want to have in the um in the you do not want to have colored basically i think that's faster if you're good with the pen tool i would suggest that you do that but i love masking i love masking masking is really awesome using masking using the brush yeah but it takes time if you want it to look perfect as i've mentioned many times <laughs> i get this a little bit smaller using the bracket all right I'll make going a little bit more all right i might I'm, i think i'm going to speed this up a little bit i'm going to speed this up when the night is over my life is over I start thinking again about our time together. When the night is over, my life is over. Cause I start thinking again about our time together. All right, so I'm almost finished. Uh, just need to get my brush and zoom it up a little bit more. I'm gonna fix right here. Um, get my brush again. What's happening here? Oh, it's on the brush. Okay, right here. Good. All right, I'm gonna get this a little bit smaller by using the brackets on the keyboard X. So my foreground is white paint on black fix right here all right that looks good um let me change let me fix right here as well some of the color was still on her hand change right here uh 
all right down here as well even though the using the um the brush takes a longer time than if you were using the um uh the pen tool it's cleaner well i mean it all depends on how good you are with the pen tool but to me i believe it's cleaner if i use the brush um perfect so let's look at the before and after again before and after and let's say you want to change this to uh maybe yellow all right let's click on the um the layer right here and then we can go back to the uh, modifier and click right here and then we're going to change it to another color uh, yellow let me go up to yellow yellow is right there good and then you can just play with this a little bit to get it yellow maybe right there um, let me see yeah, just about right there is good and if you want to well you can use the lightness as well to make adjustment to it how deep you want it to be uh, we can go to green green is pretty easy to get green right there all right good so that's basically it that's how you change the color of the models um, outfit so see we can move this as well to get the color that you want so you play around with the um the options here and you get the color that you you definitely want so green i love the green the green looks really really good so if you learn anything from this video guys please like the video share it remember to always turn on the notification bell if you're subscribing so you can get notification each time a new video is been uploaded thank you guys for watching and um subscribe <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. Oh, before I go, guys, if you're having this problem where um, it's showing up, uh, this, this right here is because of the lens, right? The lens actually did this, this green thing that you're seeing there, because if you remove this, you'll see it's still there. I don't remember what that's called, but it's the lens, actually. So if you got that on your image and you, you do not like it, so let me tell you how to fix it um control shift alt and we're going to create a new layer i'm going to uh, control j and then what we're going to do is to get your spot healing brush no not the spot brush the, the clone stamp and we're going to zoom up and then we're going to try to clone it out see that So I'm sampling what's above and clone it out. Good. So that's a useful tip. I believe we should be able to use the liquefied tool to do that as well. Something like that. I don't remember. But I should be doing a video soon with the liquefied tool as well. So you get the drift. You can actually do that to, um, to fix it. Let's look at it before and after. See? So I didn't do a, a great job right there, but you get the drift. You can just, um, if you want to be as detailed as possible, you can do that. All right. All right. So yeah, that's it. Bye-bye. <laughs>